All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, on this gorgeous Saturday, July, July, June 3rd, 2023, and uh, probably a good thing I do not have any clients the way everything is going between the the rats and the grill and so uh <laughs> i need to hand it to the gator i'm going to send this one out to uh to brother basil who gave me this fine gator last year and uh, this gator has saved my ass saved my ass so uh I loaded up this gator with another heavy load of lumber from the Amish guys. Took it around, took it up my new gator trail and that I spent $650 to, uh, you know, so I could get the gator up the hill because this gator will not go up the hill. You know, there is no other route for it. So uh, finally, I've been able to take the gator up the hill and I've been putting it to the max. And uh, so anyway, I took the gator up the gator trail, which we'll come out to here in a minute in the darkening twilight. So I took the gator This is the, you know, the stone stairs that, uh, you know, there was no way a gator was ever going to come up or down this hill. So, uh, man, Blue Dragon is coming along. I can actually make my video tomorrow. So anyway, <laughs> here's the gator trail. So uh, I bring the gator you know, around up this way, coming into Blue Dragon. Ah, uh, look at that fine looking tiny house. We have the screen porch, that beautiful screen porch. So I brought the gator up and it would have been, so I parked the gator right here. Would have been real nice if I had turned 90 degrees and kind of put it alongside the picnic table. But no, the nose was pointed forward. It had this heavy ass load of lumber on it. So uh, I left it in gear, in first gear, like I always do, and did the best I can to put the brake on it. The brake has been slipping a little bit so uh, I was starving went down to have some corn dogs for lunch so I'm down there at the tiny house down there and I hear this absolute crash I'm talking I, I, I mean I'm talking sp it was splintering wood it was crashing metal it was trees getting smashed. And I mean, it sounded a lot. Well, what I thought, I, I didn't know if Rob had gone through the damn roof or I thought a fucking tree had fallen on, uh, it sounded like, I mean, with all of this, you know, the splintering wood and the crash of metal, I thought this goddamn tree, uh, had fallen on the tiny house, maybe trying to give me sun for the solar panels. And I start, uh, <laughs> and I come running out, and I've, I've already, it's too bad I've already uh, fixed quite a bit of the damage. What happened was, that gator, with its load of lumber, started up there going backwards. I uh, gave it, it had no, concern that it was in first gear or what's left of the parking brake that son of a bitch 
went in a straight line, crashed through here. I took out this. Uh, I, I wish you could have seen this mangled mess. Uh, the whole, there's what's left of the top uh, handrail, my brand new $40 beautiful string of solar lights smashed to hell that son of a bitch it was moving hit the handrail uh, which at least slowed it down the handrail in this rock at least slowed that son of a bitch down that gator went right down this hill uh, there was no witness to this as I just heard it that goddamn thing and it had a uh, five-gallon bucket of plastic bucket of paint. Well, there's about half of it. So about $100 worth of stain in a five-gallon bucket was in the uh, back of the gator. And it came through here. <laughs> that damn gator... Here's where it came to rest, sitting on top of that five-gallon bucket of, uh, of, of stain. Uh, I mean, the actual frame of the gator. Uh, and what we're thinking is it was that five-gallon thing of paint. So here's where the gator landed, standing straight up. It had about eight feet more before going into the pond. So that was the gator's wild ride. I came out here. <laughs> oh boy. Thinking, what in the fuck now? Got in that gator, turned the key, and that thing started right up. And we, uh, <laughs> we drove this gator right on out of here. Just another day in the life of a gator, I'm hoping. Uh, so it did fine on that. So uh, let's go take the gator on a ride to make sure it wasn't seriously damaged. Do I see any damage on this thing? Unbelievable. Uh, Jesus. All right. I'm going to fire up the gator. Uh. Listen to that. Listen to that fine gator. <laughs> oh boy. What a day. Another day it bugs in a jar, so the uh, <laughs> the grill is reset. So Rob has now set a rat trap in the grill. So after that last rat adventure, the PS to that story is I made that video about that rat uh, getting out of there, and then I left. And when I got to my next stop. I saw the grill had turned over in the back of my truck and you know the actual grill where the meat goes and the all of the burner guards and everything were gone. I had to backtrack about five miles unbelievably. I found the uh, the parts to my uh, to my grill. All right, we're gonna here, check my little maters. It's gonna be 45 degrees tonight. It was close to 95 yesterday. I haven't watered my brand new baby tomato starts in two days. I hope to hell I haven't killed my
figured I was all just little tomato plants. They are some happy little mater plants. Should probably put them in their little milk jugs, but I guess they'll be okay. Man. A little bit smoky tonight. A little bit smoky. Alright, does reverse work? Okay. <laughs> the gator has proved itself again after its wild adventure. Seems to be in perfectly good working order. <laughs> and old John Deere. I think this thing is 10 years old if I remember. I think it's a 10 year old gator. Doing just fine. Saturday night at Bugs in a Jar Farm. We retired Rufus and put Barney up on the, I think that's Barney the Dragon, up on top of the house. Get out there and secure your gator while you still can. Uh, what a day. I need a drink. Bye, guys.